Hello guys, we'll be using the observer pattern in JavaScript. Um, first off, what is the observer uh, pattern? Uh, so if you remember from uh, uh, JavaScript, uh, we can attach event handlers uh, to the event. Uh, we can attach multiple event handlers. And when uh, the event uh, fires, uh, we can receive uh, and work on it accordingly. Um, the same concept is used inside of the observers. Actually, we have one observer and we subscribe uh, to it. And the moment uh, this observer emits data, we can uh, do certain actions. All right, so let's see our code. We placed uh, everything inside of one class called observer. And uh, we have subscribers. It's an empty array. Uh, we are in initializing it at first. And then we have one a very simple function a method of this uh, class, which is called a subscribe. And we're expecting subscriber, and we're just adding the same subscriber um, passed as a parameter into the subscriber's array. And then uh, we have, uh, let's say, the main logic of the observer, which is uh, here called publish. And uh, we've chosen to publish data, and uh, this data to be coupled with a certain event so we can have multiple events and uh, they can have uh, different uh, data uh, which we would like to publish to uh, so what is the logic inside of the publish uh, method actually we are filtering only those uh, subscribers from the this array here uh, which uh, have the same event as the past parameter event and when we have a list of them for each of them we are running a certain action. So this action is uh, what we would like to do this current subscriber when it receives data uh, from the observer. This way we are activating the subscribers. Let's see how we can test uh, this observer. So first we are creating our observer and this is uh, an instance of uh, this class and uh, we are subscribing. Uh, to a certain event, for example, event one. And uh, the next parameter is this action we talked about. We would like to see what we will do when the event is triggered. And here we will just will be logging on the console received event and the data that this event has passed. The same thing we subscribe again, but this time for a different event here, event number two and uh, we are displaying received event uh, to data and uh, okay we have the two subscriptions made uh, to the same observer but with different events and uh, now we have to publish some data uh, to those uh, subscribers that's why we are using again the uh, my observer instance uh, of the class and with the publish uh, we publish to event one uh, certain data and with set time out, uh, we make uh, this uh, to happen after 1.5 seconds. And after 3.5 seconds, uh, we publish something else to the event to uh, listeners. So that's the code. Let's uh, try to run the code right now. And let's refresh. And we see after 1.5 seconds, the first event is received with its data. And the second event is received afterwards. Now, uh, how this can be interesting, actually, uh, we can change certain elements on the screen. Uh, for example, here on the screen, we have a span with the ID of data and it has initial data. Um, the moment we are inside of the subscription of our observer, in case we are receiving event one, we can change the what's inside of the span with the received data. All right, so let's uh, test this out. If we press F5, we see the initial data has been changed and the two events also have been received. Uh, notice also that we are listening only to what's happening for event one. And no matter that we received uh, data for the event two, it's not uh, affecting uh, the presentation uh, logic. So that's how you can use the observer pattern. Actually, you may have uh, one emitting a data source uh, with this publish and all the subscribed to this, let's say, event here, subscribers will receive uh, the data. 
If you enjoyed the tutorial, you can uh, subscribe to the channel.